Welcome back to Coding Shorts. I'm Sean. I just want to take a quick second to plug my new courses. These are six-week courses, hands-on, and code reviews during the course. The first one is how to build APIs with ASP.NET Core 8. And the second one is on view from the ground up. You can learn more by following the link on the screen. So let's talk about what I want to talk about today. And that is Nuxt, and I'm going to make a lot of people angry. I'm not trying to create a flame war in my own comments, but feel free to disagree with me if you want. We can have that discussion. I'm not assured of my position, but I'm pretty confident. Nuxt is a great framework, or as I like to call it, more of a meta framework that uses Vue inside of it to create applications. And it has a lot of features that are really good to developers. Developers can get up and running very quickly but I find the complexity and the hiding of some of the intricacies through magic a little disconcerting. This doesn't mean no one should be using Nuxt, but no one should be using Nuxt for small discrete applications. So what I'd like to do over the next couple of videos is show you some alternatives where you're gonna get some of the functionality from Nuxt that makes it easier for developers without having to embrace the entire project. Of course, it's all Vue, both in Nuxt and what you would do normally with Vue, if you then want to migrate over to Nuxt, once you feel like you might gain benefit from the server-side rendering and some of the other tools that are key there, you can always go over there. None of this precludes that. In fact, everything I'm going to be talking about should be pretty compatible with the way that Nuxt does things. Today, we're going to focus on routing. Let's take a look. So I'm in a really simple application that I've set up here, and we'll show you it in a minute, but it's a typical view application. You can see I have a main and an app view to sort of create that container, and we can see a router view here. I'm using a views folder for the different kinds of views I'm gonna care about. I've got some state in there. I've got a typical view router implementation and some components and composables, right? all the typical things you would do, especially in a starting application. This one is pretty small, so we don't really need to worry about it. So if we run this real quick, this is what the application looks like. It's just a list of customers. When you click on one, it takes you to that customers. And I have a little piece of code here showing off a info badge. When you go back, it takes you back here. And there's an about page as well that is completely invisible so far. So I don't really want to change the functionality here, but I want to make it easier. In our application, every time we need a new route, we need to add a new section in our project here. So the trick really is going to be adding that functionality back. So if I do install, we've installed the view router now, that extends this for page-based routing. So how do we wire it up? I'm going to start down here in the Vite because what I need to do is add the plugin. It is a plugin into Vite as well as something that will interact with your router. It needs to do both in order to figure out what pages are going to be routes. And we're going to get view auto router from unplugged view router slash Vite. This is the part of the package that exposes something for V specifically. There's excellent implementations for the Vue CLI and some other libraries as well. And we need to go ahead and use this before the Vue plugin. That's important that it happens before the Vue plugin. And I'm going to restart the server. And over here in the router, once I've restarted that, I'm going to first get rid of all my routes. And I'm going to change my, I'm going to, let's comment out that home view because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to say auto, just going to extend that view router to auto. This is the plugins name that is generated from that pages folder. And you won't have to worry about it anymore. But of course, we don't have a pages folder yet. Now that we've made that change, let's go ahead and restart our dev server. And so if I rename this to pages, and let's change that home view to index. So we've named this to index because it's going to represent the home page that we were on. Now, the problem is that each of these links 
which are numerically represented, they're not going to work because there's nothing there. It takes us to this quote unquote page, but there's no routing. And if we looked at the if we looked at the console, it actually would tell us that it couldn't find routes for a ton of these. So since we need to have that customer view, let's open it up. And what we can see in here with the customer view is that we're actually using a route parameter. And this facility for auto routing supports the idea of using that ID. So we could rename this to just bracket ID and those brackets tell it to create the URL based on that ID. We can see that customer nine doesn't work in this at all, right? It can't find that route either. That's because we don't have the full route. So I'm gonna put this in customer based on ID so that when we construct that URI, this is how we're actually getting it, right? We're creating the customer and then the ID after it. We're just gonna restart our dev and we can see that's working now. Blanda, of course about doesn't work, but it in fact does because it's already named about.view, right? And because the view file name matches the URL we had constructed, it's all good. Now you will notice that as you construct these, Vite isn't picking up the brand new piece very often, but luckily Vite is so fast to start up, restarting it usually solves the issue. So that's sort of halfway into the way routing would work in something like Nux. In fact, the rules here are identical to Nux. They've been modeled after Nux. So you can depend on these being Nux compatible when we get there. Of course, you can get the code from the show notes. So where does that leave us? This is sort of the first step onto doing some things that are easier for developers. One of the things my goal is, is to make a template that people can use that have some of this stuff baked in. Uh, the new view project works fine, but I'd like to plug it in to have one that has a little bit more tied into it. I'd like Tailwind, auto routing, layouts, and possibly auto components. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Really helps the channel, helps me build up some cred. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, please go visit and look at my courses if you think they might be helpful to you or your company. I'm uh, happy to talk about it if you'd like. So this has been Sean Wildermuth for Coding Shorts. I'll see you next time.